Hello and welcome to Landry Anka on YouTube, helping you to break through your fears to live an awesome life. It's time. It's time. We're going through the transition right now. We are in full steam. It's happening right now. So I was thinking about all of the ways I've changed my life so radically in these last two years and how things continue to. Have you noticed that a lot of people are dying? A lot of people are dying. Like I've had people that have had more close relatives and friends die in these last few, just few years. They're exiting. They're leaving. They don't want to be a part of this transition. But you are. And you chose to. You purposely chose to be here during this transition. What does that mean? You are a warrior. <laughs> and you know that you took on this, this responsibility, this challenge, because you're going to help shift this earth to the higher level. <clears throat> Those people that left either didn't want to participate or were not functioning on that, on that path. My parents and my brother and my cousin. A couple of friends, too, by the way. Um, <clears throat> they all left. And I know why. They were not in that zone. They were not on the spiritual path. That wasn't even part of their life. That wasn't even part of your thinking. If you talked to them about that, their eyes would glaze over. So, but you're here, and I know you're on that path because you are watching me right now. You're ready. Are you going to do it? Let's do it. Let's all do it together. I do it, and I continue to do it. And it's exploding right now. Everything I'm doing is exploding. The opportunities are huge. Huge. You've got to grab them. Grab them. And get through all of the things that come along the way that may be not so easy to take care of. But how wonderful because you're still on the pathway of doing something great. Not sitting back and watching this world, this archaic world world and all the people that are staying in that place. That includes jobs that don't work anymore. Right? Jobs that don't work anymore. I have a friend who is in wholesale. It doesn't work anymore. People don't use wholesalers like they used to. They're going direct. Why? Because they have the internet. We have technology and things going on out there. They're making so many things obsolete. And we have people hanging on to that stuff tooth and nail. I'm going to make it work. And they have meetings on how they're going to make it work. And it just doesn't work. It's okay. It's like fighting for the horse and buggy when there are cars out there, right? How ridiculous is that? Nothing wrong with horse and buggy. So... What are you going to do? Are you going to take advantage? See, this is the beautiful part about this. What's going on out here is really good. There's good stuff going on. You can be a part of that. What are you going to do? Look at all the, I mean, come on, a few years ago, there was nothing... Nobody talked about sustainability or organic or, gosh, do you remember when you would laugh at the thought of paying for water? Now people like, really, I wouldn't even think of drinking tap water. Why? Because we're polluting our world and we have to stop all of this from happening. And that is starting with each one of us in our own decisions. Everything we do. Everything we buy, everything we eat, how we work, how we play. It's time to take charge and responsibility for that. It's time. We're doing it right now. Are you going to participate in it? Or are you going to hang on to the archaic ways? Let go. Those things aren't working anymore. There's a reason for that. It hasn't been working very well for this planet or us. Cancer is just everywhere. Why? We're poisoning ourselves. We've been doing it for years. Oh, we're going to fight to cure cancer. Yeah. You know how it starts? 
Stop putting chemicals in everything. Stop eating chemicals. Stop taking your kids to fast food or feeding them stuff in boxes with chemicals on them. We have to take responsibility. That's how you stop stuff. Not by putting a bandage on a cut that you keep poking open. You keep going back to a job you hate. That's not going to change. I have a friend who is in the most horrible situation who refuses to change her career. And next year it's going to be worse because technology is outdating her. She could get on board with technology right now and save everything and be happier. So much happier, but refuses to change that business model that no longer works. Think about it. What are you doing in your life that this beautiful new world is offering so many alternatives and options to you that you could be taking? Think about that. There's so much available right now, and there's this whole group of people back here going, this is how we function. This is what we do. We go to college, and you don't even have to go to college anymore. If you, There are a lot of things you can do. People are doing it. Who says you have to do all these things? By the way, I'm all for university training. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a great experience, actually. But my point is, is it may not be for everybody. Pick that path. Don't be afraid to be different. Different is acceptable now. And if somebody doesn't like it, too bad. Ask them what they're doing with their life that's so great that you need to listen to them. I listen to the people who are doing it. Show me how. It's like having a trainer that's out of breath and overweight. Do you know all of my trainers are like major, major fitness people. I mean, they are, they are, they're ripped. They do unbelievable stuff. All of them. And their bodies are awesome. That's who I want to listen to. Don't be training me unless you're doing it yourself and you know. Right? Surround yourself with the people that are doing it. Listen to them. And then the other ones, the naysayers, block it out. They're in unhappy places. They want to stay there. And the more they defend it, the more comfortable they can stay in that place. But they're not really, they're not happy. And if you leave that spot and you leave them, that makes them very uncomfortable. It shines the light on what's not working for them. And God forbid you might be successful. I did it. I've lost some friends. I don't know why. Some people don't want you to succeed. They don't like that. It feels bad for them. It's never about you. You know, I have a video. It's never about you. When people strike out and they're angry and they say nasty stuff, they're unhappy people. Bless them. Bless them. And move on. Are you hanging on to the old world? It's gone. It's gone. Our new earth is here. It's here. And it's all good. Even the lessons, even the challenges can push you to make a decision to go into something beautiful and wonderful that you and everybody around you will benefit from. Let go of the old world, people. Start to explore what's available out there. It's mind-blowing. It really is. The things that people are doing is mind-blowing. Positive movements and all these young kids that want this world to be clean and healthy and doing good things for other people. We weren't brought up that way. It was always about, you know, you, 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 taking care of your family. It wasn't about the world, but it is now. And you can participate in that, and I know you are. I know you are, because you're here. You're here with me, and you want to make a difference, and you are going to open up gateways and abundance and health and joy is going to flow in for you because that's what you're tuned into. You want to give it and you're going to receive it. 
And it's not just about doing everything for everybody. Do things for you. When you find your happiness, everybody around you benefits. Let go of the old world. Find your peace, your harmony with the new one. Don't be afraid of it. There's nothing to be afraid. It's a beautiful place. And there's going to be stuff going on around us that might be a little bit disturbing. It's okay. We don't have to participate it, in it because we are going to contribute to this world in a positive way. And it's going to override anything negative that's going on. So don't worry about that. Listen, stuff's gone on since the beginning of time, right? Wars and stuff. This is nothing new. It's just another weird phase. But this is the transition, and that is going to eventually go away. So don't get involved in it. Don't battle it. Don't fight it. Don't debate it. You focus on your positive path. What are you going to contribute? What are you going to do for you? What changes are you going to make today and every single day to create a better life for you and this world? You get to decide. Isn't that the best part? We have choice. And you have the power of the universe in you at your beck and call anytime you want. How awesome is that? Make good choices. Say goodbye to the old world. The new earth is here. Namaste.